and back at Nick Galaxy during the whole season. This was the only map where they actually managed to drop a map. Uh, so, you know, it does show that Nick McGalaxy is not always as flawless as uh, we'd like to think of them. But, of course, that was quite a while back. They must have learned from their mistakes. And knowing, you know, Nick McGalaxy, they are absolutely ready. They've boot camped. They've traveled now all across the world to be ready and fight back here on LAN again. So far, damage has been dealt in favor of Nick McGalaxy, but the bomb has been planted. Yeah, and the opening kill of the game is Scabby taking down Cat and going to be pretty quick to try and return here. It's a four on four, but that quick bomb plant and Nygma Galaxy basically playing this as a retake. Nicely done, Marie. She's going to get that kill, no problem. And this is I mean, there's nothing to do here. One versus four. They're all waiting on the other side. And Marie doing a good job in holding the connector. That was, that was very cool. I... Don't necessarily mind that Nick McGalaxy were trying to do basically play retake in the pistol round because again pistol rounds are just weird. You have to take some risks. You have to take some gambles, or it's not really going to make sense, especially on the CT side. So yeah, they wanted to do that boost. They were hoping to get one kill and try and do a retake in a four on five, and it just didn't work out that way. It Ooh. happens. Yeah, that, that it sometimes can just all go in just a blink of an eye. Uh, right as we speak, the might be some issues going on. Got admins on the on the uh, on the yeah on the case already. It's good. Yeah. Quick with it once again. We like to see that. So you, I mean, you, uh, I think I'll say again a good start. Like nothing super complicated from the point of view of of Furia, but I would say in that after plant, it's really impressive that they, like the way that they're able to hold that connector just means that any kind of retake is almost impossible at that point in time. You, they, they, Nygma Galaxy needed to be able to win that fight to even be able to fight for the bomb site itself. So yeah, exactly. Pretty tough. Let's see. A little bit of a delay. Hopefully nothing too serious. I'm actually always impressed when you have 10 players that are playing sort of 10 keyboards, 10 mice, 10 headsets. <laughs> that is this little problems. <laughs> it, that's a lot of equipment that, I mean, it could Stuff fail at it really yeah. any moment, right? Um, you know, if you, you keep scaling it just by sort of lower statistics, eventually, you know, something is going to fail. So I'm always a little bit impressed that it's not, <laughs> it doesn't happen more, basically. That's good. But um, yeah. We'll see. Headsets started to come back on again, so hopefully they can be thrown back into the mix. Seeing a lot of people in chat spamming Furia <laughs> chants, so <laughs> they've, got the, they've got the crowd with them at least in the, in the, in the virtual side of things. It's good to see. Here we go. Well done, admins. They've done it again. They've done it again, and with that, Furia can uh, try and convert onto a second round. I mean, Nick McGalaxy being just on the bare USP is already a lot of damage being dealt. That's not the best start. Um, we know Nick McGalaxy can definitely make some pistols work, but this is not the best of all. And yeah, considering that there's even an 8K Galil up on the board for Furia, this is uh, bound to be a very good setup. But look at this, there is a single flashbang in the hands of Nygma Galaxy. Vilga is trying to set up the team. Some but yeah, the sad thing is all of Furia are completely the opposite direction. Yeah, but I'm going to give them credit anyway. This yes. is a pet peeve of mine. I I hate it when people don't buy that. It's, it's a $200 investment. It If you get even one kill, it's worth it immediately because they're going to lose Kevlar Vest, they're going to lose whatever rifle they have. It is always a good idea. So yeah, I, even if no one showed up, I mean, that's not something they can control. I just like the fact that they tried it. And they're going to get a couple of kills anyway, not really due to the flashbang, but um, still, fair play. Vilga fighting and trying to see if she could win that battle against the Mac 10 but Olga will take her down instead. So it's, I think, it's, again, it's a little bit of damage, and, um, and then we're straight into the third round. We'll see what they fight for here. It's an interesting early buy here in the, and this is just fairly aggressive. They all, again, they only did invest in the flashbang in the second round, so they have a little bit of extra cash to do it with. But it's the MP9, it's the FAMAS on that CT side. That's interesting. Yeah. 
And one thing I want to note is that Nick the Galaxy actually tends to force up quite a lot of the, the pistol rounds after they lose. This time they were just calm. They, uh, they didn't want to risk it too much, I guess. And so far, the MP9s are doing a lot of the work. But in return, the AK seem to be uh, just as powerful, really. Right then, the flying tries to come in. 23 can't really quite make the cut. Does tag Gabby down to 9 HP, but she's still alive and kicking. And, well, there we have it. Another kill for Gabby, leaving everything on the shoulders of Vilga. She's blind, does get a tag on Tamari. But the question is, can she still find all three of the players? This is very tough. And the bomb is kind of running away. So even winning this battle, it doesn't really... Kind of gives her, you're not even halfway winning the round. Low on health now. She has the right read. I mean, this is a good... This is a good read from Vilga, just realizing what's going on, but she's so low over. Oh, she's going to run in, almost getting oh. the chance. Maybe could have been something there. That actually is scary, but eventually Gabby will take her down. I've got to say, if Mari doesn't come through with a, with a double kill, then they just lose the round. This is a dream scenario. You forced up in the third round. They run through the smoke through Monster Tunnel. You've got the MP9 on the other side. That could have been the end of Furia in this particular round, but somehow they managed to, to fight their way back. So pretty impressive. And I think Gabby also was the one who turned around to catch the flank that was coming through the monster tunnel. If she doesn't do that, they might still lose the round. So a lot of a lot of really clutch plays coming out for Furia to win this round. That is a bit scary. Well, fourth round is here. And that, t that tendency to force up, like you mentioned, Nigma Galaxy likes to do that, right? It's, if you get away with it, it it's got to emboldens you to do it again. You want to you, you wanna keep doing it. So until someone punishes you enough for doing it, you, you're going to keep doing it. And they almost just won this round. So even in their mind, they might be thinking, well, it wasn't a complete failure. We just, you know, next time we'll win it. Ooh, right from behind, Vilga sneaking up all the way from B already. And that is uh, Gabby out of the mix. Definitely one of the star players on the Furious squad, but with that, they're gonna get the pace going right into the A site. Cat, not being checked, does almost grab a kill, but still three players. And the thing is as well, the Ipid Galaxy have still landed themselves with a player advantage. They're gonna go all the way back. Of course, um, knowing that Furious has a lot of ground now over towards that B bomb site. Yeah. Picked up two Who AKs. knows? Yeah, what they can do now. Yeah, this is a this is so wild. They're down there to get the bomb plant at the very least. They even have a smoke for the high ground. They must have picked that up, surely. But that is an amazing tool to have in this kind of a retake. They don't have a diffuse kit, obviously, but they still have some time. They could do this. Tori's looking over the smoke and they're trying to make their way through. They're going to try and run down Carl, but they can't. Eventually, she gets a couple of kills, misses a shot there, but 23 still in a good, for, well, maybe sandwiched in at the end. Olga will take her down. She maybe could have a chance at Olga. She was very low on health, but not going to be so. That is a very, very important round win. That could have gone really badly for Furia, but in the end, they kept their cool. Yeah. It was a shame that in the end the, the Deagle didn't quite make the cut. Just a <laughs> spam. Yeah, not quite hitting it. Um, and with that, you just simply lose too much time. Your opponent can easily grab the kill. And then we have a Furious still in it to win it. Four rounds now for them on the ball. But also another bar round coming up for Nick Magalhaes. Of course, last round was just an eco, just some upgraded pistols. And with that, they do now finally have that orb in the hands of Arna. And this is the thing, you know, we, we saw Anna shine before, had insane clutches with that AWP in hand. So I'm curious to see what she can deliver now here on Overpass. That's a good nade already to start off with. Yeah, timing on that is powerful. And they're going to stop the boost with the Molotov and then go oh. and do the right back. That is so well done with the flashbang on top. Yeah, if they couldn't see anything. And even if they could, it's kind of hard to predict that that, that counter boost is happening. Great double kill for Vilger, obviously, but assisted with the flashbang there. Huge plays. And they need it right now on the Nigma Galaxy. We talked about how much the early momentum matters in best of one games. We've seen it all throughout the day so far. If you let teams sort of start to really roll, sometimes there's no stopping them. So 
Winning this round could be important. Yeah, Enigma got the info that the upper was outside of long, so they're going to try and play this one uh, a bit more passively. The flash will come over 23. Can at least grab one kill in return. No car still alive with the op. But yeah, it's about time before she gets traded. And with that, Enigma Galaxy have secured the first round on the board now. Also, three players surviving, so that is a, a nice bit of extra money for them to work with. While Furia, of course, needs to reinvest. It looks like Garby will just um, have to do it with a Tech 9 for this one. Um, so, not very ideal for Furia, but it seems like they still want to give it a go. Yeah, big step in the right direction, though. It's saving that AWP as well, obviously, on Ana. That's, that's going to make a difference. So, 4 to 1. They're a little bit aggressive now. Look at them pushing down. Vilger and 23 already... I mean, basically taking over this entire part of the map now. Furia, for their part, are going to be aggressive. And the smoke and the Molotov, it lands almost on top of them. Not enough to slow them down. Nice headshot from Iza. That's going to make a big difference. Ana, though, answering back already. That AWP and Tori, she looks like she's ready. She knew they were coming. Vilka, she's inside of the smoke. It's kind of being halfway watched. A little bit of a scary moment here. When that smoke fades, let's see, not ready on the other side. And now it's Mari on her own. One versus four. And they know already. Vilga is definitely fired up now. And this is a really good retake. Yeah, this is really what we know Nick the Galaxy for, honestly. It's, uh, it's a great retake. And now... Oh, I saw a timeout being called. Yeah, this is now the time for Furia to sort of get back to the drawing board. Now they still have a buffer as far as rounds go, so you want to make sure you hold on to them. I like it. I mean, the fact that they were so early pushed up, again, it's really hard once you're in, you're trying to plant the bomb, you're just kind of coming into the after plant, and you're already being flanked from that monster tunnel. It's just too much to handle. So impressive stuff. And with the AWP on the other side, Ana holding on to that, it's it's kind of tricky to do, deal with. I don't know how you get yourself out of that one. And they didn't, so we'll see. Maybe after a little bit of a of a break here, they're going to be able to, to, to get back into the swing of things. But Enigma Galaxy are answering back pretty quickly here. And they're out of money on the Furious side. So 4-2 to two for the moment. But that'll probably change really quickly. Let's see. All right. Again, sort of a three-player setup down by B. With Vilga now pushing out. So they're, they're being pretty forward with the defense right now on the Enigma Galaxy side. Trying to take the fight to him. Ana a little bit alone. Does have some connector presence if she needs it. Wow. Isa is immediately gone. That was a lightning fast flick. You'd like to see it. Vilga. Again, I almost don't want to blame her because I feel like that's the kind of aggressive plays that she's been getting a lot of kills behind. But you see the other side of it there? <laughs> that's a wall bang. All right. Olga's not going to be happy about that. Yeah, now Tori also being pushed up this close. Ugh, it's scary. Oh, I might actually come in from behind. But 23 is right there to give some backup. Of course, now the bomb is still in the bathroom. Yeah. Everything on the shoulders of Gary. What can she do? Ooh, ooh Michonne from Anna. Who knows? But ugh, there we go. Quick as ever. Right as, um, you know, small, small slip ups, but you recover right back after it. And with that, Nima Galaxy crawls closer and closer to the scoreline of Furia. But Furia have the money again to, uh, to get full on 8Ks on the board. If you think back to the previous game that we saw and the difference that it made for CLG Red to have die on that AWP and, and, and actually spearhead a lot of the comeback. I mean, if Ana could do the same thing here, she's looking so fired up with that AWP right now. And sometimes that's all you need. One player that, that creates the space on the team and wins a couple of rounds and then everybody else could start to... And honestly, Vilga is being super aggressive as well. So between the two of them, Man, that's hard to overcome. We'll see if they can. Furia, with a chance again, rifles almost no nades at all. So, 
usually when I see this kind of a grenade constellation on, on any T side, I think they might spend a little bit of time moving around, but once they throw these nades, it's, they're probably going to go all in. You can't, there's not really any faking it with this. With the little, you just have to pick a target and go for it. Yeah, and the most impressive thing about Vilga as well is, you know, it's not just any other rifler that just likes to entry and, and grab the kills. It's She is the IGL. She's the big brain of the team. So while grabbing all these kills, she still needs to coordinate the rest of the team as well alongside it. So it's very impressive. And it's not just this one time that she is uh, on top of the score, but it happens a lot of the times we, serve, uh, we see the team play. So props to her and... It's a very scary prospect if your IGL can pop off like this. Now, though, Vilga does crap one, but in return, Gabby with two instead, giving Fury now a player advantage. And that's a very good start now. With 20 seconds left on the clock, though, they definitely need to get a move on. They will now get the bomb down. And with Arna grabbing another kill, there might be a bit of a lifeline. I'm not even sure how she got that kill. She really is super fast at the moment. Gabby. Keeps going, third kill of the round for him. She got the double entry and cat now. What do you do? No smoke. And that's a huge problem in this kind of an after plan. You have the kit for it, but without the smoke to provide some cover, you're probably never going to be allowed to defuse this. She's faking it once, but now she's out of time and they get a double peeker at the end. Gabby with a nice quad kill to give Fury the round. That is... That's a lot to get out around. Remember, they had no grenades, really. They had a couple of smokes and a couple of flashbangs. That was it. So very, very hard to uh, to win around like that with that little utility. And that takes so much cash out of the bank of Nigma Galaxy. So that's <laughs> super important. And again, they, they need to reinvest into that AWP for honor. Uh, they can afford it now, yeah. but the question is how much longer can you stretch that out for? Um, good thing is though, on the Furious side, they still can't afford it. Cart's just uh, on the Galil. So for this round, they still have the advantage, but Tori already out of the mix. Not very great. Um, I think so she got Warbang inside of the Molotov <laughs> by, by Mar Mari on, on the other side. So that's already a little bit wild. Ooh. 23 though. And the fact that it's Mari that she finds here, if you think about it, Mari just got the kill on the other side on Tori, and now she's all the way back here. If they're quick with the information, that should be a little bit of a giveaway. Now they definitely know that they're inside of the A-bomb site, but it's still a four on three. Fury have so much map control, and Vilga is not... I mean, that's so aggressive. The fact that Kaz put pushed all the way... <laughs> the, yeah. the, 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 no one sees that coming. Kat's now thinking about it. She's at least going to get the kill, but man, tough round here for Nick My Galaxy so far. And now again, little utility left to use in this retake. There's a few flashes, but still three players to find an out cat falling as well. It's it's just honor, and with that heavy investment of the orb, it's not time, worth it. Yeah, it's, it's just simply time to save. The thing as well is it, with 23 over um, towards party and being very aggressive. Uh, I like that she tried to delay. She she threw out the Molotov, you know, f having the sense of, okay, I might get overwhelmed. I might be too exposed. Let me just focus on connector. But right at the same time, sadly not a player there. And they, they all went a different direction. So ideas are there. But if you're a man down, it is still a really tough one to come back from. Yeah, absolutely. And it, it's given Fury a 6-3 a to three lead, which again, playing on the T-side of Overpass is Oof. actually pretty solid. That's a good position to be in. Timeout being called now for Fury, even though they did actually, they won, they won the round. But I mean, that doesn't, you can still obviously take a timeout out of a win if you, if you need to just talk things through. And they're going up against a round where they know that Anna saved the AWP, so... A lot of ways to think about that. Do you play it slow to find out where the orb is and then go somewhere else? Or do you just hit a bomb site really hard? And even if she's there, maybe you can just overpower her. Or, or if she's not, you can win the round before she shows up. It's a lot of different philosophies. Not necessarily any one right answer, but we'll see. Orb solidly in that B bomb site with a lot of backup. 
so far it does seem that Furia wants to set foot onto that B bomb, so Tori at least should have faced a little bit. And seeing as though uh, Happy Furia will respond. Okay, Gabby does grab one kill. But still, a lot of space for them to work with. They can pretty much decide where they want to go to, of course, knowing that Nick and Galaxy have to eco around that orb. But never say never, because oh no, with an orb in hand, you, you don't really want to want to come across that every single day. We've seen already how quick she is. So yeah, I mean, I agree. If 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 they run into her, that could be a really unfortunate turn here for the Brazilian side. But they're playing it. Pretty conservatively right now, even after getting the opening, they're still a little bit worried about too much. <laughs> oh, nice timing for Vilga. Out hunting, but again, I think she, along with Anna, they've been they've been some of the really fun players to watch so far on the CT side. Gabby goes to investigate, but it's too late. Weapon's already been stolen. Now we're down to 30 seconds, and there's a pretty good defense down here. This could be a real nightmare for Furia. Under 30 seconds now. Cat's close with that P250, ready and waiting for any kind of headshot that might be happening. And Anna waiting all round to put this AWP into play. Instant headshot, ready for more. Misses that one though, bit of an opportunity, but could do some more damage still. She's finally going to connect and take him down car, but through the smoke right underneath it, six seconds left. And oh, Tori, if the smoke wasn't there, she'd definitely already win the round. But instead, it's Mari coming out and Furia, they win the round. I guarantee it. Without that smoke, that bomb never goes down and the round just gets one on time. Oh, that's devastating. Yeah, utility definitely made a difference. It, it also cost just this whole smoke wall that was up over on the bomb site, which made it really hard for Honor to work around, not really knowing if uh, any of the teams were already going to be pushing up. Um, it, it worked for the first kill she got there in the water, but then after that, it just uh, was one big question mark there over at the B bomb site. It was a definitely a good attempt. Sad that it couldn't really uh, pull through. And in return now, it is furious time to get back on the op car with one in her hand. Still, Anna does manage to grab one up with the lost bonus. I mean, it's worth it. The way that she's playing. You might as well invest into it, even if it's going to cost a couple of nades. Still, probably a good, uh, good idea. Seven to three, though, and um, it's hard to take down twenty-three. So again, doing some good work, Tori to fall next. This is looking a bit rough right now for Nigma Galaxy. We look at setting up the flashbang, but there's no one there to really peek behind it. It is a cool idea to throw flashes from the lower part of the map. Anna, lightning fast yet again. She's going to do a little bit more, and you can get that wall bang through the box. It's not that easy, but it definitely can be done. Three on three now in the after plant. Wow. And Molotov certainly is going to make things uh, <laughs> a bit more difficult, at least delaying the retake. But with that flashbang, oh yeah, that's the sound of the CTs trying to barge in and it's absolutely been denied. Three kills, quick as can be. And with that, also three players surviving for Furia. So that's that's a really solid after plan. And it was just basically, it came down to timers. You know, whenever yeah. that flash comes, they're gonna come in as a unit. So as long as you have one or two players looking away, well, you should be fine. You love to see a lot of pressure on the on the Enigma Galaxy side. I swear I'm hearing the sort of the crowd cheering a little bit in the background <laughs> though when Fury are winning. So they've got to have a couple of supporters there, and there is a crowd ready and waiting. I saw a couple of people in Twitch chat asking about it, but yeah, there is definitely a crowd here watching. Been oh yeah, I definitely I hear them. I hear yeah, them. Yeah, they're excited. <laughs> That's awesome. That's good to see. Now, eight to three. That's a solid lead right now for Furia. This is this is very scary. Uh, also considering, you know, now Nick McGillis here just have to deal with the pistols again. Um, we, we have seen them deal damage, but not quite really convert the round yet. So on paper, this should again go to Furia. Having nine rounds on T-side, take that home. When you switch to CC, that is, uh, yeah, that's a, a very uh, scary layer, um, setup. But we do have now the first kill going away again. 
Mysterio. Yep. Not really a surprise. Gabby is just going to clean everyone up right here in Connector. And with that, only two players left. Not very ideal, of course. And I think that, yeah, for Nick McGillis, he's probably going to be try to deal as much damage as you can economically. But slowly, you know, we're getting closer towards the, the end of the first half and we have uh, pretty, pretty solid money for, for Fury. Ooh. A little bit of a return, but probably too late to have an impact on the round. I mean, it feels like the kind of game plan that Nick McGalaxy has brought to the to this match so far, the buying in that third round, the the sort of the insistence on the AWP for Honor and, and how aggressive Vilga has been playing. I like it. I like the attempt, but the problem is when you get shut down trying to do some of these things, it does feel very punishing. So a lot of the rounds that you, where you sort of have rifles, you're like, you're kind of, you're giving away a couple of kills early on, and Furia are pretty good, I'd say, at slowing down the game even after the initial engagement. They're good at, at taking a little bit of a break and then reinvesting into the round and coming back into it. <laughs> the locals enjoying... <laughs> Dallas food. Hell yeah. <laughs> that is a good reason to be in Dallas, I've got to say. They know so what they're doing be. out there. <laughs> no, but the crowd so far have definitely been great. I saw like so many yes. people, because there's limited seating, but I saw like a uh, big, huge line standing right behind it as well. So and this is only day one, you know, we have two more to go. Right oh. now, ooh, look at that. There's an aggressive push coming in from Furia down mid, but Phil got at least shot two of them down. Um, so that's a good two for one trade, giving them we can see now funny an advantage again. That's the kind of skill on Vilga that makes you think, well, she sh she has to keep doing it because it is really impressive, but it's also the kind of thing that can backfire. Molotov and HE on top, but Cat is still alive somehow behind the barrels inside of the B bomb site. They would have loved to have blown her up already. Anna, even with the smoke, I think Cat almost made it past, but not quite. Mari has the right idea. She knows for sure that someone's back there, but it's she just can't find that the flashes are coming in as well. It's a nightmare. Gabby's shown up and Cat will go down. Can they fight this one back? Surely not, Furia. This is a two on four, and they're trying to reclaim it. Mari, she's low and she's finally going to be going down. Tori, who's had, I think, a bit of a hard game so far, but finds a double at the end. And Nigma Galaxy will find another round. Yeah, this one they desperately needed. You know, they were down by quite a large amount of rounds. Now they need the firepower back. They need to make sure that they can hold on and, and don't let too many rounds slip away. Because otherwise, you know, with each round you're going to give Furia here on this T side, it's going to get more less likely that, you know, they, they will also take the whole map. Yeah, you really... <laughs> At this point... Enigma Galaxy need the last two rounds. They need to make this 9-6, and they probably still after that need to win the pistol. So a lot of work ahead of them right now if they want to get back into the game. It's still absolutely doable, but um, Fury have come prepared, and they're ready to play. You can tell. They lose Gabby early on again. She's been, along with Mari, kind of the top fraggers here. Nice little crouch in to take down Anna. That's not bad. But a good, uh, good trade kill, nonetheless. The thing is, we do have Kano here over in Kaneta, while the rest is trying to creep out of Monster. It's not going to go without any sound. Cat definitely hears that. But if the timing's right, perhaps a Kaneta player could catch Hat of God. But instead... Tori comes in through Connector as well, so that's a good, nice little sign of which at the same time, though, Olga does find one for herself. So the bomb can at least can get planted, but still, both players are tagged up, and with a 3 on 2 retake, this seems to be the one in the bag for Nick McGalaxy. Olga does go around through Monster into short, that's one kill for her, and she needs to clutch it out with a 4k. Might be possible, two players still very close to one another. Oh, that's another one. And suddenly the defuse is cancelled. It's a 1v1. Olga can sadly not do it. But is there enough time? She, I think there is. She picked up a kit along the way. She didn't have one to begin with. She actually picked up that defuse kit in the one versus one. If it hadn't been on the ground, if it had been somewhere else or not, or not bought at all, she would have lost that round every single time. So 
Oh, that is way, way, way too close. That's how, again, you said it is basically a one versus three or one versus four at the end. And they almost give it away. Super, super scary. And that is so interesting because not all round wins will generate the same kind of enthusiasm in a team. You know, if you're Enigma Galaxy, you, you're, you're happy to at least you get to five rounds, but you're not going to be high-fiving after that round. You're going to be thinking, damn, that almost still went completely bad. We go nades right through, and again, trying to put a lot of pressure on the B-bomb site. Tori, though, able to defend with the AK to begin with. Four on five, and now they've been slowed down a lot, Fury, and that's usually a sign of worry, although <laughs> maybe not for Gabby. Opening up, huge double. Trying to see if they can get up the ramp, but Tori's come alive in a big way. Nice triple for her in this round, and Gabby on her own. I mean, we all know Gabby can clutch, but this is definitely a, a tough one. She's tied down to have HP. Not a full mag as well. There's time, but the bomb also lost on the side. That's a, not a tag on to Cat. Who knows? It might be possible. Vilga and Tori also are very low. So if the timings are right, that's one kill for her. Tries to convert onto the second one. Sadly, it won't be happening over that. That's a 6 to 9 half, and with that, we will go to uh, a very short break, but what a close one that was. To try and get everything rolling here. 9 to 6, and Enigma Galaxy now on the T side. I need to highlight one thing. I gotta respect Isa right now. She has the duel lease. Yes. <laughs> right here. The meta. Uh, I, you love to see it. it. It is so good. Hopefully it can pay off. So far, the first skill go the way of uh, the Galaxy 2, in fact, as they swarm out through long can return with one, tries to convert onto some more wood. Ooh, it might get a little bit tricky. Tries to escape, not gonna happen. Um, Doodly's still alive though, but it does come with a bit of a cost because currently Nick McGillisey have that player advantage and they're going to make a run towards that B bomb site. But that's exactly where the Doodly's are at. These are in heaven. Doesn't really connect onto anything so far, but tries to probably wait for the backup of Gabby so they can try and retake the site. No kid on board, but perhaps with a single flashbang. Could be good. Gonna be thrown out right now. He's will try to make some work off of it. Doesn't really spot anyone. Oh, but a duel is certainly gonna kill. Now Cat does fire back, leaving everything on the shoulders currently on Gabby. Tries to make some work of it, but simply two angles to look at too much yeah that's that was gonna always gonna be kind of a difficult retake you have to imagine i've got to say even though you know car eventually got overpowered up by the restrooms but the way she controlled the angle falling back from that fight so that the other teammates couldn't just overwhelm her is actually really that's a very cool to see if she had more bullets i i'm almost this is where they eventually hunt her down but i'm almost sure she would have had another kill there that was very cool um, yeah, tough retake at the end, just not really in their favor. So Nigma Galaxy, gonna be a step closer, which is um, which is great news. They need it right now. Seven to nine. Oh, and return Fury will be forcing this one out, and it. Might be, uh, you know, the high risk, high reward thing, but currently, again, play it down, make it two as Tori grabs another kill on top of it, leaving just two MP9 players alive. Yeah, that's not the the best situation, of course, now to, to be in. Also, is uh, still all the way over towards the uh, B bomb site, actually, both of them. Yeah, and at this point, you know, you have armor, you have two SMGs, you might want to hold on to them and yeah. try to make something work the next round, because right now they still have a bit of a buffer, so it, it's okay if you want to save now. And that could be, I mean, a round like this where you force up again, it's really early. It could be another attempt at sort of a power play, you know, you've got that, you feel like you're on a bit of a roll, and fair play to them. If they force into this round and they, and they take down Nigma Galaxy, that's a huge mental defeat for the T side, but it doesn't necessarily work out. Uh, so now they're in a little bit of trouble. Enigma Galaxy making at least an early comeback. We'll see how long it lasts, but it's about to be eight to nine. So clawing their way back. 
the MP9s is safe, at least for the minute. Yeah, that, that's the thing, you know, Fury are forced up into this, so... Uh, okay, they do have those two MP9s, but it might come at a cost later on, you know, if if due to the force you can't afford an AWP eventually, and all those things, they, they come into play, and we, we've seen how, how impactful the AWP is, and actually, both sides, but if it lands onto Nick McGillis' death side first, who knows what can happen? It does look like Kai is just going to go with the Barry USP and rest as well. Just those two MP9s, that's going to be it. Um, but yeah, on paper, that does result in most likely yet another round for Nick McGalaxy here. Yeah, I mean, double MP9 could definitely do some real damage, but the, the tricky thing is finding the right position to have them in. As long as Nick McGalaxy are a little bit careful and use some good nades, they could do. Here we go, actually. Cat's in the right position. Galil, ooh, right in front though. She lost a little bit of patience, and instead goes down, double peeking into that one. That's that could be bad. Now they have a Galil to work with. Okay, go and pick up the bomb here, Nick McGalaxy. Looks like they still want to try and double down on it. Vilga, I don't think she's seen a fight yet in this game that she's not ready to take. So <laughs> again, she's just not looking. <laughs> I like it. I mean, it's really cool to see. It can backfire, but then again, she's got 15 kills. So something is working out. She's read this one really well. Yeah, that was the only player defending. Everyone else had rotated back to A, trying to stay one step ahead Furia, but Vilga had the read. Yeah, and now the utility comes on top of it as well. You know, the Molotov is going to delay things for the retake as well. And yeah, they're stuck. Even the boost up into heaven. Tori can grab another kill. Oh, now we're two in the follow-up. This is uh, absolutely slaughter. As it should be. This was a good setup for Nick McGalaxy. And that w it now becomes tied up on the scoreboard. Something, you know, Furia had a very good lead. But it's all gone now. And with perhaps there's a bit of a momentum. Who knows where it could land Nick McGalaxy. Though... Car has the up in hand, whereas Ana is still on the scout. Yeah, that's interesting. I mean, <laughs> yeah, obviously you can still make that work. I'm curious about that particular fight because I'd say the movement of Car earlier was that really caught my attention. That's something, and obviously, I think Ana at this point has already shown many times that she is very, very fast on that CT side with the AWV. That was scary to witness. A lot of Molotov damage onto Ogre, and as a result, they're going to swap out the AWP to her. It makes sense. We'll see if she can still do something in the round. But taking over restrooms, Arnigma Galaxy, no one outside a B, so theoretically, if Fury, Fury wanted on the defensive side, if they wanted to push out and check, they would, they'd know a lot to, uh, to work with. Yeah, and now, of course, with yeah, Olga being low, that AWP is in her hands. And instead, Carl has the rifle and does grab Tori in the process. Also, 23 being back to a fair bit. And even though there's things being traded out, the advantage stays with Furia. But they are the ones, of course, that need to retake. That was a leg through the smoke onto Arn. <laughs> I am not sure how that happened. I think a bit of a, perhaps a lucky shot. Sadly, that one can't quite connect. And G uh, 23 takes the advantage, making this still a three on three. And the retake eventually needs to come in. I Could don't know. This is going to be almost impossible. Now the bleeding players left and right. Anna with a good couple of kills, but they. The problem really was for them. The bomb is planted on the other side, which is su that's such an uncommon situation. Almost never on that A-bomb side do you get the bomb planted on towards the bank. So I don't think they were they weren't ready for it. And they didn't have the, gr the grenades either. So tough position to be in at the end. And a great uh, great round for the T side. And now they're, they're really back into this game right now. I've got to say, things are, uh, things are looking up for, for Enigma Galaxy in spite of a bit of a rough start. And then the question, of course, is how is Black Dragons or um, Furious, how are they going to bounce back from this one? You know, there, there's a lot of pressure <laughs> onto them, considering, you know, they had the lead, everything is now away. How are you going to get back into it? It's, it's, you know, it's not just about aiming and about the strategy. Mind games currently 
definitely a big part of it as well. Yes, I mean, and it could be it could be mentally a little bit tough when you have a, a, the kind of lead that Fury were working on, and now you're, you're sort of sleep, you're seeing it slip away. You don't have the economy necessarily to keep going either, as you, you can tell here. So they're being put to the test. Nice nades, and Anna absolutely ready for this one. Not going to be surprised by the Deagle. Okay, that's... Yeah, but she saw Cat. That is the kind of move that can be very frightening, and even, even then she still does get traded. But at least she realized before it's too late. Tori, yeah. I'd love to see Nigma Galaxy at this point kind of try to group up so that they can't get picked off one at a time. And Tori now at least they have sort of a couple of a couple of teams working. Mari, that is a nice headshot. Oh wow. Point blank range nearly with the Deagle. And she keeps going. She's taking down 23 as well. Oh my god, that is so wild. She definitely should have been dead. The initial deagle kill was really not that pretty, but right afterwards she made up for it. And Anna's now fighting on her own. One versus one. And she brings down Gabby low on health on the other side. And they know good communication. Yeah, her team's already told her she's low on health. And Anna right through the wall, taking down Mari. And that is a huge save. Oh, wow. They almost just, they lost that round nearly to the deagle alone. That, that was insane. It, I mean, luckily for Anna, she, she manages to clutch that. I, I definitely don't doubt her. That is a situation that she is actually very comfortable in. We've seen it time and time again. But Mari, what the hell was that? Absolutely nuts. Of course, it did help that some players in the process were tagged up. So in order you know, to then get a kill with a deagle. But still, there were headshots involved. It was so crisp and clean. Um, that you almost wanted it to pay off. Sadly, it didn't, but it was a very good attempt. And now, looks like Furia wanted to turn things around. First kill went their way, but Vilga's gonna say no. Garby does go now down over here at the B bomb site. Interestingly enough, the rest of the backup not quite there yet. They're first lining up all the rest of the utility, trying to make sure that they can actually get a hold of the site. And they do manage to cross now. So that's a very good prospect for Nick McGuddessy to try and get the bomb down and set themselves up for Axepan. Look at 23. She's on a huge flank. Yeah, that's catching Kara there. I don't even know how you do the retake now because you're going to be shot from the high ground even trying. I mean, the only positive is that the bomb is not planted yet. Oh, and trades just continue. Now it's an all-out battle here. Anna, she sees it coming, doesn't get the flick quite. Mari will take her down out of the open, but it's a great tap for 23. And I don't know, it's so scary between Anna and Vilga. I don't know, it, Vilga basically took that bombsite on her own. And she, I mean, she is so dominant in the way that she does it. That's, I don't know, Fury just are in a lot of trouble. If they can't stop Vilga from doing that, and they had basically three people there and she killed one of them and pushed the other two into sewer and just said i i have the bomb site that's wild i, I guess it, it really takes a lot of trust in the rest of the team as well you know making sure that they set filga up in order to take it and and hold on to the site so the communication definitely here is on point for nick mcgalaxy as well as the synergy already two kills again and it almost like, it looks like they're going to speed run this one. You know, it was a six to nine half. And now Nick and Galaxy have won six in a row. Fury have yet to win a round here on the CG side, nonetheless, here on Overpass, yeah. which is very, very strange. Um, of course, this round, they only had limited amount of weaponry. But at some point, Fury need to make a change. Really, yeah, you're right. It's a good point. The, the fact that they haven't even picked up a round in the second half is is definitely super concerning. And, you know, given how the first half went, you you would have expected that they could have been a little bit quicker to do it. But this is also the problem. I mean, this is sometimes what happens with that momentum shift. You have a bit of a break between the first and the second half. You lose the pistol round, and suddenly the other team is just alive in a way that they weren't before. So, very tricky. If they want... To stop what's happening on the Nigma Galaxy side, it's kind of now or never, isn't it? They're getting into 
almost a hole that's too too deep to dig themselves out of. But not out of it yet. Still got a chance. Yeah, I mean, on paper, the, the, the gap is not that big. But, you know, considering the, the context of what, where we're in currently in the game, it definitely looks uh, a lot more scary. The car's back on the op. And that's the thing. We, we have seen the impact of Anna. You know, she has double the amount of kills of Car. That's crazy. That is, uh, you know, that says a lot. And and Car also not really uh, not going positive, which doesn't help at all. So she needs to perhaps step it up. It's currently mainly Mari who does uh, a lot of the work uh, alongside Gabby, but the rest, yeah, so can't really seem to make things happen. Mari does get a kill while blind. Gabby with two in the follow up. Finally, this B defense is paying off, but never see never. Vilga still alive and kicking, though very, very low. Just 15 HP and is desperately looking for more CTs. Is going to clear every corner. And the bomb is up for grabs. There is a player on the other side of Monster. We'll deal with it with a smoke. Tries to play it safe. If, if they can get the bomb plant, it's nice for the money. Um, just try to get some extra going as well. You know, they do have some money in the bank for Nick Galaxy, but anything that you can get your way truly can help in the long run of the game. And I think Vilga, now that she has the bomb and she's realized they're giving him a, a, her a lot of space, I think sh she's going to try, and this is super smart, she's going to try and basically isolate a one versus one and they get the bomb down to the A-bomb site. It's still very hard to do, and Kara's playing this one really smartly, but I think Vilga... She is definitely playing at a super high level here. That's if she was ever gonna try and win the one versus three, this would be the way to do it. There's no way that she's gonna be able to plant the bomb and or even fake it in the in the B bomb side and try to pick up a no. fight. That's never gonna happen. But this could have worked if uh, if Car had not been <laughs> ready for it. So good stuff. I've got to say as well. I mean, I, I can't remember if it was like ten rounds in by the time Tori had maybe three kills. Now she's up to sixteen. So that's a really cool, cool little comeback just for her on, on her own. She was, I think, a little bit of a liability for the team earlier, and now she's made up for it, which is good. 13 to 10, the first round for Furia on the second half. It's a wall bank shot to take down 23. Car, yeah, must have shot through something at the very least. Making a way back now. I'm hearing singing in the background. Yeah, there's like chants going on. I'm not sure exactly <laughs> for which team. But I, I did see some Furia fans earlier on the, in the crowd, which was uh, very cool to see them all hype up. Yeah, I think the spirit is right. Uh, and, and that for day one, let alone, you know, what, what we might lend ourselves for the final with. Super awesome, yeah. Keep singing, guys. It's good. Cat goes down. Aggressive push coming out of that B bomb site. Anna, smart enough to not change her scope because that will be heard and she's realized that so it's also dangerous but she's walking all the way in here and if they peek it right now that's gonna pay off yeah so well done Isa walks right into it if she changes the scope on her approach to that bomb site then it's very likely they're gonna hear it and and they're gonna be a little bit more ready oh Anna stuck now behind the Molotov while the rest is on the site 20 seconds Everything needs to happen very, very soon. Oh, Tori misses. Oh, and oh. Garvey can play off the smoke, grabs two kills. And that leaves Honor to clutch it out. Yeah, 10 seconds. This is going to get real tough. That is an insane flick onto Gabby. But still, too much to find. Yeah, this is, needs to be the save instead. Um, but, you know, got to give props because that was one nutty kill. <laughs> she is actually so entertaining to watch. That's really, really cool. Can't obviously win the game on her own, can she? But still, the flicks are really impressive. Yeah, it is the Brazilian crowd. They're ready, <laughs> hyped up. Yeah, you love to see it. Yeah, it's Very a lot cool. of fun. I mean, uh, that must lift Furia up oh, right now. A hundred percent. Like, knowing that the crowd is favoring you. Um, and, and that's a good thing, and it definitely can happen. Look, uh, Nick and Galaxy you're stuck on, on the pistols around the orb. Um, definitely still possible also for them, but 
considering that Fury have an old plus rifles. Definitely can make the difference here. Olga, ooh, doesn't quite connect the shot. And can instead, will take that rifle. Now, that's a player advantage. And, oh, oh. okay, never mind. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah, that's it's such a stressful position to be in when you're Olga. Like, it, it's very relatable, isn't it? You, you know, kind of know that it's just pistols, but when the first player around the corner is jumping and you have that M4A1, like, did some pretty hit quick headshots to not get uh, overwhelmed anyway. But good defense from Car all the way back there. And now it is a 4-on-4, four four, but they picked up the M4 on Vilga. I mean, between... Even just having Vilga alive with the M4 is kind of scary right now. Trying to push forward, though. 40 seconds left. They could still get the pinch on this bomb site. Oh, close. Nice double tap. Tori runs her down. Definite advantage. Vilga not going to be able to clear that corner. Tori still working. If she could have got the scope back there from that second kill, maybe she could have had Mary as well. But now it's 20 seconds and 23. She's probably going to run out of time here. Very hard to find these two kills. Or oh! oh! She turns the corner. That's an AWB and not a shotgun. But she made it look like one anyway. Eventually goes down. And again, she didn't have the time to try and play around that. But man, that was close. Super, super close. The no-scope headshot. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> that, is, that is just crazy. Ugh, I... I mean, <laughs> what's up with the offers here today? It's so entertaining to watch. Yeah. And uh, actually, on both sides, you know, Car getting quite a fair amount of work done in that round two. Um, and even Tori. Tori's not even really someone we know on the squad for orping, but she just picks it up. Boom, boom, boom. Grabs the uh, two for herself as well. But sadly, Yuria did grab the round, and now with that, Olga is very eager to convert onto more. It's yeah. already a nice opening. I still really love the play from Anna. It's a shame that she doesn't land that shot, but that is... She obviously has the skill and the confidence to go for it, so she should. She definitely should. It's just... We're this deep in the game. One of these rounds could really cost you. Looked like the aim was on there, but Olga on the other side of the rock, able to take down 23. Tori trying to make up for it, hunting one of the enemies out there. Not quite catching Car, I think it was. So, five versus three. Wow. Again, this is the 26th round, so there's not a lot of runway for either team. A couple of mistakes, and it could cost you a little bit at the end. Oh my god, that is a headshot. Hard to hit when people are playing on that grading back there. Under 40 seconds. Started to see if they could get back down towards the bomb site. They could. Third player rotating from the high ground, but it's already smoked off. It's Mari on the other side, and she's defending absolutely flawlessly. Three kills, yes, and getting like a little bit of BM. That's what I like to see. Ah, uh, look at that. The crowd is excited. Of course, now we got a very close one on our hands. We thought for a second. That Nick Galaxy had the momentum, but as soon as everything shipped and the economy is gone, things are getting real tough. And th that was the thing, they kind of went out one by one. They, um, yeah. it, it was, we first had uh, a player just check um, towards heaven and shore, but then we didn't really have anyone to already back up towards monster and then yeah, everything kind of crumbled from there. Mari could just easily wrap them up. And interesting, though, um, we do have Car or no, Isa on uh, just the MP9. Um, so still, the money is not too great for Furia. Oh. But, oh, all right. The pistols do some more, but in return, right there and then. Seems to be still pretty solid for Furia, leaving everything on the shoulders now of 23. Does have a Tech 9? Already grabbed one kill, but um, yeah, this is not <laughs> very, very easy to do. She really would love to. F yeah, there we go. There's Ooh. an M4. She's been looking all over the bomb site. Oh, oh. Let's you do need bullets, otherwise, it's not going to do that much. Scary 
I mean, it, the Tech Nines, once they get that early kill on Mari, I think it was, that could have spiraled way out of control. So, I mean, f credit to Furia for actually converting this round into something. Yeah, now she's looking for a couple of isolated fights here, which... Ooh, she finds one of them. That is a rare oh. kill, and she's going to keep going. Now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Olga on the other side, and she's going to be panicked, surely. 23... I don't know if she realized, but that bullet went right past us. Uh, she's going to play around the smoke instead. Oh. 15 seconds now. The time, though. Yeah, she has to think about that. And Olga's right on the other side. Underneath her, there's no way that she could have known. Olga playing very proactively there and winning the round. Fury and nearly giving up a one versus three, but not so. Oh, wow. This is, is a very, very close game once again. Yeah, this is uh, so tough because, uh, again, there's a, there's a bit of a lifeline every single time on the Nickman Galaxy squad and every single time you think they're not going to make it. They do pull off some very insane plays, but at the end, Furia so far seems to be on top and again, another good opening for Car grabbing Tori in the mix, already having, you know, the, the connector control gone. So that leaves Nickman Galaxy to... You probably just try and execute for a side in the end, but yeah, this is a uh, a tough one. Looks like they wanna go for the oh the boost, but the sound cue might have given it away. It's, it's very difficult to continue to do that. You just you could be boosting right into a headshot. They're gonna instead turn it into a double dunk on the Gabby, nearly blowing her up. That's pretty cool. Mari is still alive, and honestly, she, without her, I'm not sure if Furia haven't already lost the map. She has been incredible so far in this best of one and might he's basically been the driving force for them to get here so that's impressive he's defending very well as they try to come for the smoke and it's just too much to handle 47 seconds left on her on her own now one versus five again to win a, a round like this you need some big mistakes from the side of fury you need them to basically screw this up a little bit again she's lightning fast there's no question about her skill here but it's just too much to ask for. 30 seconds, a tossing grenades at her, trying to make her go away. <laughs> um, not sure Anna wants to give up. She wants a bit of a fight, but it's not going to happen. And with that, 15 rounds, it is match point here for Furia. I mean, another OT is possible, but... It is. It, yeah, at this point, Furia is definitely looking scary. Yeah, very, very... Uh I mean, if we're, they were gone for a long time from the second half. They they kind of took a break for the first five or six rounds, letting Enigma Galaxy make it really far back into it. But now they've come alive yet again. And the crowd is loving it without a doubt. <laughs> they've <laughs> they got cheers going on. Listen, the passion uh, for Brazil, of, of the Brazilian Counter-Strike scene is just... Absolutely amazing, isn't it? Yeah, so, it is infectious. It's good to see. 15-13. As we lead in to the 29th round. We'll see. Carp aggressive here. Not worried about getting run down. Although they are getting kind of close. Smoke's landing behind her from the T side. A little bit of action there, Olga. If that had been an AK instead, she would have been dead, but... There's a Galil catching the helmet, so she's going to live on 10 health. At least does force her to go back, so the heavy aggression that was trying to come in through Connector is eliminated. And with that, Nick McGillisie at least have that mid-control. They can try to make something happen from there. There is a player close up along. Perhaps Tori can catch them, but there's also backup in the form of Car, which is scary. There's another player. Olga has uh, has fallen back to the back of A as well. So that A and, and long area is very heavily guarded. But it looks like the bomb is not going to go that way. It's going to head towards B. Currently only two players are at. Oh, oh <laughs> well, no bye way. bye Gabby. What do you do? How do you deal with that? <laughs> 35 seconds. Oh, no. Mari wanted the information. She, she, They could hear the footsteps outside of B. They needed to know what was going on. 
but that cost them another death. And now it's a five versus three, and they actually don't have the money to throw away these rifles. They actually, Fury, need to save what they have here and to try and win it in the 30th round rather than going for the retake, and that's what they're going to do. Smart choice, I think, for Fury. It's not worth it. Though, I mean, I <laughs> I don't even know what to say about that kill from Vilga. That's just <laughs> very disturbing. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's what you get. Wall bang. Um, you just guess, you hope, uh, the timing, and it was right. So uh. ridiculous. But fair enough. Is That's what it takes. I mean, that's the kill and the noise that kind of forces Mario on the other side to say, okay, like, I'm, I'm going to go check long, and then yes. she dies. <laughs> uh. 30th round is coming up. Um, question is, of course, Nick McGannock CD definitely have the mental strength to, to take this to OT. Um, Fury, though, they're on a lot of pressure. And the question is, you know, are they going to crumble? Can they hold on to it and actually convert it back to a win? Um, did you have a car back on the up? No up for Nick McGannock Yeah. So that might favor them. I mean, definitely, Anna without the orbs is a, is a real shame. I'd love to see more of that. Vilga, she knows. She definitely knows. Oh, and oh. she's going to actually, it's going to be 23 on the other side, but definitely communication. You could tell they definitely knew they had Olga caught out there. So, tough situation now for Furia. Could end in overtime, and they get, they, the issue is overtime is such a different sort of mental battle that you have to go through. Not necessarily easy. Usually, especially if you're in Furious position, you kind of feel like we might have already won the game. Oh, the unfortunate switch. That is going to be upsetting. Mari, probably a little bit lucky to be alive here. Now it's a four on four. Oh, you could just hear the crowd after that kill. They're excited. They're hungry. They want Furious to win, but 23 is super eager to deny it. Or at least give Nima Galaxy another lifeline. That gives them a player advantage. Vilga with two more to follow it up with. Ooh. And that leaves Car to clutch it out in 1v4. It, it definitely is possible, but a very, very small chance. And it is oh so difficult, especially with an open hand. It smokes in plays, Molotovs, you name it. Enigma Galaxy want to go for that overtime. Yeah, it's all set up right here. And they're being smart about it. They're not giving her many chances here. It's an incredible shot to take down Tori. I've got to say, and she almost landed the first one. But the, but I think smartly again on the T side, they weren't giving her a lot of chances. There is overtime in the best of one between Nigma Galaxy and the Furia. And then we've got Anna and that AWP. But but then on the Furia side, Mari's been carrying a lot of the game. Gabby has been pretty close second. But it's kind of the duo of the two of them right now that's doing a lot of work. And maybe that just isn't enough. Maybe they need a third player to tag onto that to try and win it. Now in overtime. And they're going to be disappointed if that doesn't work out. Olga, aggressive out there, taking down 23. It's a great start. And the rest of Nigma Galaxy, they have to go for the bomb site. They lost the rest of the map. They might as well push on. And they will really quick to decide. It's nice to see almost no delay between losing that early fight over on the A side and going straight for B. Mari, though, will take down Cat, And yeah, they're, they're going to be in trouble right here. Anna, if anyone can bring it back, it's surely her. Nice shot from Tori, though. Now it's a one versus three. I have no idea how she could do this. She saw the, saw the gun barrel stick out for a second, but yeah. Nice boost. There's uh, little information, and eventually, yeah, you say it, the boost comes through. And with that, we have the first round in OT secured. But of course, so much can still happen. It's only one round. Last time around, we saw it go to a second overtime as well. So many unpredictable factors, and it's going to come down. Who has the long breath? in this game. Yeah, it's, it's mentally very taxing to, to play over time. Yeah, it's it's just very hard to describe. But on LAN, home crowd cheering, kind of are the home crowd at the moment. Olga goes down, but Kars right back with the AWP. She has been 
I think she's the she's the close contender right now to try and be the third wheel on the Furia team to try and bring it back. I think she, mechanically she's been looking super strong. Four on four though, and they're not slowing down, Nick McGalaxy. Look at the speed behind this push, although they gotta be careful because Mari's on the other side. And she has been the absolute rock of this Furia team. We're about to see why. Instant kickoff. That's all by sound. She heard Tori running. That's how she was able to do that. Super heads up play. It's still a three on three though. Bomb being planted, Vilga, ignoring the nades for now. I'm very much aware of the back. Currently, though, most pressure is kind of going to come in through Dumpster. Hello, is a great... Oh, no, wait a second. I was about to say it was a great flash, but it, it was a what? team flash. What the hell is happening? Arna grabs three kills with one of them being a collateral. <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> oh, wow. They actually, I mean, they set up that retake nicely. They had the smoke on top. They managed to get the kill on Vilgar, and that sets it up for a two on three. And then Anna just, she just swipes all the chest pieces off the board. She didn't even know. She couldn't <laughs> see the second player. Uh, what a maniac. You know, sometimes you get these little gifts, and you just got to take them. <laughs> it is absolutely insane and it makes beautiful plays you know that's that's what counter strike is all about Ooh. but right in return furia answers right back car is not gonna stop anytime soon i guarantee you that was a i clicked the button moment for anna i i'm <laughs> yeah. sure she must have clicked that button like almost simultaneously but car was a little bit quicker this time gonna be able to bring her down and now they've lost cat in the meanwhile so this is where Furia, she's going to keep being aggressive, but normally probably would want to try to be a little bit defensive here in the 5-on-3. Mari, though, instant double kill. No flash around the corner, because I think Nigma Galaxy wanted to be sneaky and try and see if they could make their way through. Oh, and the wall bangs on top. Oh, so aggressive. 17-16 to 16 in the first half of overtime, and Furia coming out of that one in a nice way. Yeah, one round leads. Of course, will they hold on to it? That is the big question. So far, really solid. You know, Olga grabs uh, a lot of openings, and, and Mari is, is great as far as the multi kills go. So, definitely seems to be that Furia might have uh, Olga in the mix as a perhaps like a, another impactful player. Of course, Nick Galaxy, they are not going to give up that easily. Oh no, with 32 kills yeah. under her name. It is insane. Only outdone by Mari on the other side, who's, who's got 37. 37, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is also nuts. Yeah, even for overtime, that is a lot. Well, yeah, I mean, there's still, still, still a good chance here, really, for either team to get the job done. Checking out Connector, Furious satisfied, no one's hanging out here. And they have a minute left. Let's just see. Mari's been holding outside of B, but practically back in T spawn. She's been making sure that no one's flanking and there's no one gonna be trying to backstab them. So it feels like that's you'd only really be doing that probably if you were gonna go for an A hit eventually. And it, it looks like it's gonna be just kind of an all-in at this point. It will go flying. Does seem to miss majority of the players. Oof, but now Mari grabs the first. Anna instantly has to try and fall back a bit more with the repositioning though. Grabs two kills in return. Free! What the hell is going on? Anna is not stopping anytime soon. And there's even room for more. Vilga though. We'll grab the other two. That's all fine. But. I, I just can't get over. Anna is so quick, and every single time you because it looked for a second she was being overwhelmed. She had to fall back, um, but it didn't even take a second for her to instantly pull the switch and and get back to fragging. She is actually lightning fast. It's really cool to see. Seventeen, seventeen, tied up once again. It's I, the problem. Obviously, is if Anna goes down, it's possible that. Enigma Galaxy are in a little bit more trouble, but yeah, 
How do you stop her from, from doing what she's doing right now? This could be an opportunity. If, you, if she misses the shot here, she might be dead, but she won't. Comes back to find Olga. Oh, she's so accurate. Taking down Olga as well. She is not afraid at all. Four versus three. And I almost like Fury I have to run away. How do you stop this? The, the, I want to say you just don't. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just, just, you know, as soon as you spot it, run the other way. Like, that's that, at this point. She's so mobile. Every, you know, she got a kill and connected. She just instantly moves up. And, and, and it hits, you know? It, it seems like... I barely see Arna miss a shot, and, and when she does, she usually still recovers and, and hits multiple right after. It's um, actually wild, isn't it? Yeah. We yeah. need creative people in the Twitch chat to come up with a here's, uh, here's, like a, here's Anna meme, like with the <laughs> axe instead, the AWP through the door. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy. All right, she's in the meantime picked up an AK, but Vilga is going to beat her to the punch. Otherwise, could have been a triple right then and there. Easer on her own. Enigma Galaxy after this round going to be a single round away from winning it in overtime. And there's not much Easer can do here. It's just almost impossible. Tori going to be the one to get a headshot, but again, they had everyone there. Good chance. Yeah, if I were to pick like an MVP for just ma this match alone, definitely hands down needs to go to Anna. I mean, this is the thing, you know, she she grabs the first kill down and connected, moves just up, like like it's as if it's nothing. Uh, yeah, I, my brain just can't quite comprehend it. No, it's really it's really awesome. It is, and yeah, I mean, and if and if Fury win it instead, if they manage to get into double OT now, you'd you'd say Mario probably would be the MVP. Also, Anna, yeah. this is a good detail right she's actually spotting for that quad boost out there and in the last round of overtime like this that's a, that's not a bad idea coming through the smoke i'm assuming with some sort of a flashbang but it didn't do enough anna though she's ready around the pillar she's gonna get one peeking again into it and again she's just showed no fear at all there's not a fight so far in this game that she's not ready to take let's see it slows down furia might just be really scared on the other side. Once they hear that AWP crack out on the other side, they realize it is not worth it. Like, don't don't face her. What a crazy game. Three on three now. And under a minute. And they're frozen in time right here, Furia. They're not really sure how to proceed. Anna patiently waiting. Got to be a little bit careful. She does have some backup, so they can't swing too far around. And there's one more kill. Milgan with the headshot. And now... Can she get this last one? Cars on the other side. It's the no scope to close it out with. 19 to 17. What a performance from Anna. This is nuts. Like, even right there at the end, there were some mid shots here and there. But that's the thing, you know, even though Anna delivers time and time again, when she doesn't, she has the backup of the team. And it tends to be Vilga this time around. Um, her being the IGL, it's even more impressive with the amount of impact that she also has been having this game. Yeah, I'm so impressed. That's actually really, really...